Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you stopping by. This is going to be a little bit longer video, but don't worry, it's going to be packed full of content. So what is it that you're going to be watching? Well, the first segment is going to be on my idea to draw out herbicides, pesticides uh, in a clean and in a clean way and also in a way that minimizes my exposure. So stick around and see how that worked out. You may be surprised. And then the next segment after that is going to be my mower deck. I got my deck in for my ZT34 and I've got that all on the mower and I can't wait to show you that. And then after that segment, we're going to have the community cabinet. I got three letters, so I can't wait to share with you guys who sent me those letters. And then after that, it's going to be a little bit of family time. So I hope you stick around with that to see how the family's doing. Hey, if I haven't told you already, I'm doing a 500 subscriber giveaway, but I'm not quite to 500 yet. I've had a great push. I think I'm at 461 at, the, at this moment, uh, and I'm looking forward to reaching 500. I'm thinking about giving away something like a hat, a shirt, maybe like a $50 gift card, a sticker, uh, just some uh, long hair little guy gear and, and a little bit of a cash to go with it. So uh, the only way you can actually get that is if you are on my community cabinet. Actually, that's not the only way. There's going to be different ways, but if you're on my community cabinet, uh, you're guaranteed entry. Otherwise, there's going to be other stipulations. So wait for that video to come out and uh, help me get to 500 subscribers. Also, I encourage you to go check out my personal channel, Matt Clevenger, because my most recent video is about how I quit smoking. I, I, was, I, sm I was a smoker for 11 years, and I've been quit for 15 years now. Uh, so if you've ever thought about quitting smoking and you are a smoker, I encourage you to go check that video out. I think you'll like it quite a bit. So anyways, without further ado, roll the intro. Okay, guys, I'm going to do a little voiceover and just kind of step you through what I was thinking. So... I'm just kind of opening up this first container. The first container is pendimethylum, and I didn't get a very good frame uh, here, so I apologize for being out, but this is my first attempt, and uh, I got syringes to suck my product out. So I'm over there, so you got the, I got the syringe in, in this tube, and I got it down in the stuff, and I couldn't get it to work, so I'm like, why isn't it sucking? So like a weirdo, I'm all trying to like siphon it like I'm jacking fuel out of somebody's truck. <sighs> I'm not the sharpest knife in the box, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but I tried. I tried. So, I am calling it a fail. But I'm going to keep on pressing on and keep on trying, keep on trying. Because what I figured out was that uh, the tube actually just wasn't even in the fluid. I couldn't hardly see that. So I got it in the fluid and I, I kind of got it to work. So, there it goes. See? It's actually working when you put the tube down in down actually in the fluid so it works yay but as you can see I still got some fluid on me and on my glove so I kind of had some trial and error going on the whole purpose of this was to reduce my exposure and to keep the area clean but this is actually a real tank that I'm mixing this is pendimethylum just uh, in case you were wondering uh, the brand is pendulum it uh, it's a pre-emergent Laying that down now before the soil temperature gets any, any warmer. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing. Trimec, I switched up my a whole new tube, a whole new syringe, and I'm in Trimec. Trimec is a, is a brand name as well. Uh, it's what they call a three-way post-emergent. So for weeds that are, have already come up and see how it's working much better. I'm starting to get the hang of it now. I realize that I have to get the tube down in the fluid. But this three-way, they call it a three-way, and I forget what, what all's in it, but 2,4-D is in it, and dicamba, and something else I can't remember. You weed control guys would have this memorized, but remember, I'm still a newbie. So I flip it over. The reason why I flip it over is because the syringe actually uh, bleeds down a little bit, so I need to get it to where the air is at the top of the syringe so I don't lose my measurement, because it's actually got graduated marks on it, so I can tell it's in milliliters, so I have to translate that from ounces to milliliters. But that's why I turn it over, is so that when I take it out, it doesn't start coming out that tip again. I'm not sure why that is, but it's really not a big deal. Shove it back in there. I gotta get some more. So you see, it works actually pretty good. But I've gotta use two hands, and that's a problem. That's a problem for me, I gotta use two hands. See, I gotta hold the, uh, the, the tube while I squeeze it in with one hand. 
yeah. It's just kind of, I don't know if cumbersome is the right word or not, but it just doesn't seem to be working out at this point. At least that's what I'm thinking in my mind. I'm like, I don't know if this is all that good. And uh, the other thing that I was thinking about while I was doing this was that I think I could have had this poured by, all, by now, so I'm not sure this is making it any faster. And then, of course, I take the tube out. I'm going, now I'm going into, uh, uh, the brand name is called Ranger Pro. The technical name is Glyphosate, otherwise known as Roundup. Little tidbit, we got uh, common Bermuda here in South Oklahoma, or in uh, Central Oklahoma. See, it didn't work again. It's because it, my, my tube wasn't down in the liquid. Now it's working. But uh, on the common Bermuda, while it's dormant, before it starts to green up, you can put Roundup directly on it. And from what I understand, it is one of the best post-emergent herbicides out there, which is why it's so popular. So I'm squeezing that on in there. And we're just about at the end of this. The next segment that's going to be coming up is a, a little bit of what I've already told you here. Um, but uh, I'm, I've got a fix for it. And that's going to be coming up here in the next segment. I'm not going to ruin it by telling you about it now. We'll just finish up with this. These are the three things that are going in here. And I also did this same, the same method for the dye as well because the dye gets pretty messy as well. Oh, am I going for another round? Oh, no. Here we go. See, this is the other downside. I got to take the tube out to put the cap back on, okay? Which means I'm increasing my exposure because that tube is all wet with the herbicide. So I got that that towel there. So here comes the fix right about now. So here's my fix, guys, because um, I had some trouble um, handling the hose and the syringe and everything. And I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, why don't you just pour it? You could do it faster. Well, I guess I just like to tinker with stuff. I don't even know. But uh, my wife is really concerned about my exposure to the chemicals. And when I did live with uh, Acme, that was one of the questions was about the safety of these chemicals. And the reality of it is uh, these are designed to kill. Okay, so they're not safe. Okay, and when you look at it, the directions say that when it's dry, it's safe for people and pets. I'm sure there's studies on that, but the reality of it is the very nature of it uh, is to kill uh, plants. So it's not going to be healthy, okay? So we want to minimize the exposure, and uh, that's kind of my goal. And then I'm hoping that it actually reaps the benefit of it even being faster. So I had trouble dealing with the hose. I didn't want it to fall down in there. I had trouble with it. Um, actually going down to the bottom and keeping the hose up into the chemical because it curled, right? So I had all these issues. So here's my fix for it, okay? I went down to Lowe's and uh, I got some uh, dowel rod, I got some tubing, um, which it's got some tubing anyway, but I guess I, I don't know, I, I got new tubing, I suppose. And I got this little grommet right here, okay, that fits around this tubing because I wanted to be able to seal it off. Uh, because you got to shake these chemicals. I couldn't just put my tube down in there. And then I got some zip ties. So what's going to happen is I'm going to drill a hole in a cap with a stepper bit and I'm going to put this grommet into that hole and then this is going to extend out of the top of the cap. And this stick is what's going to keep the hose from curling and go all the way down to the bottom, okay? Uh, so that it is always in the chemical and I don't have to worry about the hose falling through uh, or lifting it up or anything like that. So, and honestly, I won't even have to take the cap off as my hope so that I can actually have maximum segregation between skin contact, which I wear gloves anyway, but uh, no, no potential for splashing, any of that type of stuff. So there it is, guys. And then if you can see right here, I put the stick a little bit further down than the edge of my hose. The reason why is because I want this to go all the way down to the bottom. The stick will hit the bottom, but it'll still leave a gap there to where it can suck the chemical up through. Now, uh, I'm a fuels guy, uh, naturally, when we take samples, we usually like to take things from the center of any tank that we have, but this chemical, I think, is gonna be a little bit different because you're supposed to shake it up, it's supposed to mix itself in there. It's not like granulars that fall down to the bottom or anything like that. It's soluble. So it should be uniform throughout the chemical, no matter what. And when you consider this, uh, uh, 
if I were to actually pour this into a container, I would only be taking the top portion anyway. So when I realized that, I realized I can probably take, as long as it's mixed up well, I can take it from any part of the container. So I decided to go all the way down to the bottom so that I would never have to tilt it or anything like that. Uh, so when it stops sucking, it means I'm just pretty much out of, out, of, uh, out of fluid. So anyways, guys, this is my fix. So I'm gonna get to drilling a hole in the cap, put this grommet in there, and then the next time I spray, uh, we'll see how well it works. Hey guys, if you think this is innovative, if you think that this is kind of engineering or you think it's kind of cool or whatnot, uh, if you're a spray guy and you never thought about this, maybe you did think about it. Maybe you could put a comment and tell me your experience with it or maybe you just give me a thumbs up in the comment, anything you want. But I just want to encourage you guys to give me a comment. That would really greatly help me out with this uh, YouTube algorithm to spread the word about my channel. So anyways, guys, um, I'm going to get back to this and uh, we'll see you in another segment. Okay guys, so uh, I've got two things to show you. I've got uh, what I believe to be success over here, and I've got what I believe to be failure over here. <laughs> so what did I do guys? I, uh, I drilled that hole too big in the yellow container so my grommet didn't fit. I, I drilled a 5 8 hole, which is what I thought I was supposed to do. Uh, when in actuality it's supposed to be a half inch hole. So the 5 eighths is the full diameter, outside diameter of that grommet. Uh, so it just pokes right through. Where the actual seating diameter is actually a half an inch. The inner diameter, which the, is the diameter of the hose, is 3 eighths. So, yeah guys, this is it. So I'm just gonna uh, put my syringe right in here and I'm just gonna suck it right on out. Uh, the stick is holding it, oops, the stick is holding it all the way down into the, uh, to the bottom, uh, holding it straight down. And I believe I'm going to be able to uh, pretty much just shake it up and draw it off here. And then I won't even have to take the caps off of these. So I gotta get this one repaired or something, but it's okay, I'll go through this pendulum pretty, uh, pretty quickly, I think I'm I got about a third left of it or so and uh, I'll just get a new container new cap and I'll do the same thing to it So I'm really happy with this so far and uh, We'll see how well it works So update to come Hey guys, I got something else going on today and uh, I'm not going to show it to you I'm just going to kind of give you the, the lowdown, but uh, here it is. I got my deck Look at that pretty guy that pretty thing there's the old deck. Let me show you something. Let me show you why I'm replacing this. You see how straight that deck is up and down on both sides? Look at this one. Oops, there's a lot of grass here. Hold on. Not quite the same, is it? This is where I hit that, uh, that manhole cover. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, it uh, pushed in the deck, ru ruined my mulch kit, which actually wasn't that great anyway. And uh, so, yeah, new deck for me. And uh, I'm going to try and rig up a, uh, a mulch plate on this guy or something like that. So, anyways, I'm going to spare you guys all the uh, gory details of me putting this together uh, because um, that could be a long video <laughs> or a crazy amount of editing. So, anyway, I just want to let you guys know that, hey, I got my deck in. And I'm uh, changing it over today, and uh, we'll see how far I get, because it's date night tonight. Hope you guys are dating your wives. All right, so and moving on. Guys, I just couldn't do this without showing you the finished product of the mower deck. And um, I had a problem because I couldn't get the spindles out to transfer them from deck to deck, uh, because my impact battery was dead. So I had to wait for a charge, and I found something to take my time up with. So I think I'm going to redo it eventually, because it's not my best effort. but. I think it put me in a good direction. Check this out. There it is. It's shiny and new. I've already tested it out and everything and I leveled it up. Uh, so this is actually sitting at three inches right now, but check out that thing on the front there. It's a shoot blocker, more or less a prototype. But uh, as you can see, I got a little bit of a gap going on right there and up here. Uh, the reason being is because I, uh, uh, I didn't I didn't measure properly 
with everything installed but anyways that's for another video i think i will do a shoot blocker video on this once one day um, but the key note on this is i used the old side discharge shoot and just cut it off and used it as a uh, as an actual piece so i figured that was probably easiest and just screwed it in there and put some holes in there for airflow but anyways guys yep the deck is all done it's shiny and new and I just can't wait to uh, to cut with it. But something to note here is as I was putting something back on, putting it back together, you see these black uh, covers? I might end up taking those off because those catch grass and I don't really like that very much. But uh, anyways, so uh, I think that's gonna do it for my footage today um, of my jobs. Hope you enjoyed it and can't wait to make another one in another couple weeks. Alrighty guys, we're almost to the end of this video and this week I got a whole bunch of mail in comparison to what I would normally get. I got three whole letters, uh, so I don't want to waste too much time. I just want to get to this and just tell you who sent me some stickers. So the first one is going to be uh, from Ulner Long Care. Ulner Long Care. Cool. Get this guy opened up. Y'all know I opened it before we get here. Owner Long Care. He, you know, he's up in Michigan. I can't remember exactly what part of Michigan he's in, but he's got a really interesting story. Look at this sticker. Isn't that a good looking sticker? That's what I'm talking about. Owner Long Care. He, uh, he's from Michigan and he is, uh, he just separated the military. He, I believe he was a combat medic. So there's a big story behind his, uh, his logo right here. And this is why I can't quite tell where he's from, but this represents different areas. Uh, that he wants to actually cover in Michigan. So he's got a huge vision. I encourage you to go out and check out his channel. And definitely, I'm not going to tell you what these mean, one, because I don't think I could do it justice. And for two, I want you to go to his channel and go watch it. Watch the explanation behind this. It's one of the most creative, most uh, personal uh, names of a business and logos that I've ever known. And this is an amazing this is a really amazing card. Check it out. One side has lawn care and it looks good. It's very well designed. And then on the other side, it's Christmas lights. Isn't that cool? So cool. One of the best cards, stickers, companies, uh, uh, new startups, that I could probably think of for next year. So go check out his channel. It'll be linked in the description. Uh, he wrote me a letter, says, Long care, little guy. Thanks for the support and subscribing to my channel. I want to give you a sticker and one of my business cards. If you're ever up in Michigan, give me a shout and we can hang. Uh, Jeff, uh, his name is Jeff. Uh, Jeff, I would love, 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 love to do that, man. Uh, I'm sure you've got a ton of great stories uh, to share. So I'm looking forward to watching more of your channel. And thank you for the sticker, bud. Uh, the next one is, a lot of you guys might know him, AJ's. Tino. You might know him as Tino. Tino from AJ's Lawn Care. Here we go. So Tino wrote me a letter. It says, uh, hey, bro, sorry late on getting this to you. Keep doing what you, uh, what you do and have an amazing 2020. God bless, Tino, uh, with AJ's Lawn Care. Tino's one of these guys that he is, he supports, I think, everybody. Like, if you, it seems like no matter what channel I go to, he's there commenting also on Instagram. And that's where he excels or where he focuses on. He's got a great Instagram uh, and he posts all the time. I think every single day. Uh, really great dude. I met him very, very briefly at the Ninja Gathering uh, in 2018. Was it 2018? And I hope to hook up with you uh, again someday. Um, but here's his sticker. He sent me a sticker. This probably looks familiar to a lot of you guys because he's on a lot of guys' cabinets. And then also his, uh, his business card as well. Another very good looking card. Here's the other side of it. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Thank you so much, uh, Tino, man. I appreciate it. I've been looking forward to this sticker for quite a while. Thank you. And also thank you for your support. Uh, thank you both for your support. And here's another one. This one is from Fence Armor. You guys uh, know Fence Armor. Fence Armor is another one. He's very much like Tino, uh, where he's really supporting us, uh, us YouTube channels and um, he's got a great business out there. I've looked into his products and what they do fence armor is they're into like protecting like posts and things of that nature. So they have one wrap where it actually goes like down into the ground and uh, uh, it insulates it from concrete or dirt or whatever it is that you're putting there. And he's also got uh, these 
uh, metal collars that you put on and that, that can help with like like weed eater damage and things of that nature but it's a really great product i can definitely see a use in it so if you guys have not uh, uh checked out fence farmers uh, website or their instagram facebook whatever you need to go check it out i by the way I'm going to be posting uh, Fence Armor and also Tino's uh, Instagram page in the description. So make sure you stop by the description and check that out. So um, let's take a look at what's in this envelope. Whoa, is it sticky? Uh, here we go. It's on, it's on the letterhead. Beautiful letterhead. It's a great, great logo, too. Um, uh, dear, Mr. dear Mr. Clevenger. <laughs> I hope all is well. Thank you for reaching out to us, participating in the sticker swap. We look forward to seeing more of your work and showing our support. We hope you enjoy Fence Armor name tag. Have a wonderful day. Sincerely, Fence Armor. Uh, uh, Stephanie Bate, the social media coordinator, and they really are active in social media. Check this out. This isn't just a sticker. This is a straight up plate. Straight up plate, y'all. How about that? That is so good looking. I've seen this on so many people. It's such a huge supporter of, of us little YouTube channels. Uh, so thank you guys over at Fence Armor. Keep up the great work and thank you so much for your support. So let me get these up on the cabinet, okay? All right. I'm going to have to peel a sticker and then I'm going to bring you over and then I'll peel another sticker and bring you over. I don't have a, a, a second hand or a third hand to... Uh, to do this with. Alrighty, Mr. Tino, here you go, buddy. Where do you want to go? How about right below uh, Scott from Red Rock, huh? Right below Scott from Red Rock Maintenance is where you're going, AJ. Or AJ, <laughs> Tino. It's deceiving, you know that? There we go. Now let's get Olnar's, Mr. Jefferson. I got a guy at work. Uh, his name is Jeff, Jeffrey. I call him Jefferson. He calls me Matthias. Can you believe that? We like those formal names. Okay. All righty, Jeff from Ulnar. I gotta say that was one of the one of the best peeling stickers that I've had so far. So I need to know where you get these from. And it's an excellent quality too, by the way. It's kind of a matte finish. Usually everybody gets a shiny one. This one's a matte finish. So what are we gonna do with you, buddy? Um. How about we'll put you right about here. There we go. Okay, so if I can kind of recap the, uh, the community cabinet. Um, we just put on uh, the folks that you know. We got Scout Lawn Care. Hey, thank you for your support, Scout. Appreciate you. That's probably a real familiar one. Uh, Birch's Lawn Care, Jay's Crazy Cuts, Scout from Red Rock Maintenance, and uh, Wes's Lawn Mowing uh, that is local here. So everybody, thank you so, so much. Hey, Fence Armor, I did not forget about you, bud. But I forgot the tape. So how about this? I'll put you right here, but I got to get some tape for you, okay? But you'll get up there, I promise. I might even have to rivet you. I'm not sure. But that's going to do it, guys. That's going to do it for the community cabinet. I really appreciate everybody sending something in. Remember, if you send me a sticker, my address is in the description. If you send me a sticker, you're going to be automatically uh, entered in for my giveaway. Uh, at 500 subscribers. I'm already got something to plan in the works. I'm thinking about like a hat, a shirt, and then maybe like a gift card, something like that. I might even throw in some extras if I can, if I can find some other stuff. But anyways, I'm getting that all designed up, a new design for my, for my shirt and a hat. So anyways, I'm looking forward to that giveaway. Help me out, get me to 500 subscribers and we're going to do that giveaway. And then the more subscribers I get, the bigger the giveaways are going to get, because that's going to be one of my goals is to give away a lot <laughs> as much as I possibly can. So anyways, guys, um, the next segment's up is just a little bit of family time, uh, a little bit of something we did on Valentine's Day, and a little bit from me and my wife's date night tonight. So anyways, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like, and share if you think uh, this channel's any good. So love you guys. Pray for me. You know I'm praying for you, and peace. Is that yummy or what? Mm-hmm.
I gotta pay attention to my driving. <laughs> I cannot believe they said they have no silverware. <laughs> That's right, they said they had no silverware. You know darn well they do. Oh,